Testing out the IR cut feature on the Matrice 300 with the H20T. We're gonna try it at night, coming up next. Hey everybody, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Now recently we had some good news. We were approved by the FAA for nighttime flying. So as long as we have the proper beacons on our drones, as long as we stay under 300 feet, as long as we follow all of the FAA rules, we are allowed to fly in Class G airspace after sundown, after dark. Uh, so we were excited about that. That happened to coincide with the release of the Matrice 300. So we had this grand scheme to put together this huge video on exactly what the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T could do at night. And then this happened. All right. Don't you dare upper step me. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's uh, scooch a little further this way. Me. I'm gonna be out of frame. I know. <laughs> uh, all right. There we, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Aerial <laughs> influence here. <laughs> David's here somewhere. I'm not sure where is that. Should I have my right. pelvis like toward you? You should. Like it, open you, stance. You always, or should I face the camera like this? You always want to have. <laughs> Facing your ghost. <laughs> hey, what can I say? It's been a long several months for everyone. We all get a little slap happy sometimes, but we were able to salvage a little bit of that video, some flying that we did, and showing a little bit of an example of the IR cut. This is a feature, not necessarily a new feature. This is also on the Z30. To the naked eye, it's gonna look like black and white, but here Michael and I are doing a little flight. We do a little explanation of exactly what the IR cut feature can do on the Matrice 300 with the H20T or even with the Z30. Take a look. All right, so you can see us in ambient light. Oh, there you go. Now, if I do this, see the, the flashlight? And, and just to explain to people, that's an IR, that's an, imp, that's a... It, it's basically... It's like an we, IR beacon, essentially, but it's a flashlight. Yeah, it's a flashlight that is only showing, uh, only spitting out like 840 nanometers, which our eyes can't see. Right, so, so to the naked eye, that is completely invisible. Yeah. But to somebody using a drone with the IR cut on it, they can see this light. So think of it in terms of, if you get a team of police officers, of search and rescue people, and they're all wearing IR beacons, you're gonna be able to tell who is part of your team. Uh, so that can be a really powerful tool for the search and rescue side of things. We are at, what is it, 40 times zoom. So there's the flashlight. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a delay. It looks a little blurry too. Yeah, well, I mean, that we're at 40 the... times zoom. And, oh yeah. Um, so let's see, here's the IR though. I mean, so this is how far away we are. Right, and you can zoom in with the IR too. Okay, so. To, uh, here, you, you hit these, this okay. button here and, and it'll take you in. So yeah. There's my arm waving right there. Now I have the beacon on and you can't see it because it's a different wavelength. Right. But if I went over to zoom and then turned it back on. You can see it. But if we were to put up the RGB camera right now, you would see nothing. Put it back onto the, take it off night scene. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's still doing pretty good. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess there's ambient light because we've got lights on, but. Okay, so I've just put on the RGB, which is actually pretty good. So I took, so took now, out the I, I, IR cut. So now we, if we, I turn on the light, nothing. Nobody nothing. sees it. Yeah. And that's gonna be the same with anybody, anybody's regular eyes, you're not gonna see that light. But when you flip on this IR cut, Now do the flashlight for me. Yep, and there is the light. So really interesting, uh, you know, the Z30 will do this as well. The Z30, of course, is gonna be a lower resolution than the H20T, which we're flying with right now. But interesting that this is just another tool for police, and uh, yeah. police especially in search and rescue and public safety. Eventually they'll get a good uh, IR light that yes. can go with 
with an the IR, actual an zoom. IR cut zoom. Yeah. Exactly. All right, everybody, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoyed the information about the IR cut feature. We think it's pretty interesting and something not everybody is really talking about or has talked a lot about, but it's a really great feature for public safety and search and rescue. Hey, we wanna do lots more videos like this. If you've got an idea for us, if you work in public safety, if you work in agriculture and you wanna see us do something with drones, try something out. If you've got an idea for us, let us know, shoot us an email, give us a call, contact us on social media. We are up for just about anything. We hope you enjoyed the video. Continue watching, we'll see you next time. Thank you.